This is probably the most common violation of the dependency inversion principle. The good news? It's actually pretty easy to fix. Here's a typical application structure. It consists of a module for the business logic and another for the domain model. The data access is handled in a separate module. Finally, there's a module for the UI or the web API, which includes the program's main entry point. So far, so simple. But what's wrong with this setup from a dependency inversion principle perspective? According to the dependency inversion principle, high-level modules, which implement business rules and provide the core value, shouldn't depend on low-level modules, which handle implementation details. Now, if we look at the dependencies of this project, we can see that the application module, which contains the high-level business rules, actually depends on the low-level data access module. The root of this issue is the repository interface. So how can we resolve this? The first and perhaps most obvious solution is to move the repository interface into the application module. This simply reverses the dependency between the two modules. But it's not just about where the interface lives. By placing it within the application logic, the application now owns the API design. This allows us to tailor it for the needs of the application, making it more intuitive for the business logic rather than for the implementation. While this approach is simple, it might not be suitable for larger applications. Imagine the data access module is developed by a separate team and needs to be reused across multiple, well-separated features or even across entirely different applications. In this scenario, instead of making the data access implementation dependent on multiple high-level modules, we apply the adapter pattern. First, we create an interface in the data access module, offering generic APIs that can support all the application features. Next, we introduce an adapter class, which uses the low-level data access module to implement the high-level application-specific repository interface. The adapter is considered feature or application-specific low-level functionality. Depending on the size and structure of the project, we might end up with something like this. The repository adapter would then be placed in the adapter module. If you're now curious which of the solid principles is the most important one, then watch this playlist next.